All right, that's enough. Hey, it's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah, I found the Jason mask. Let's put it in the background. Why do I feel like there's someone standing behind me wrapped in a towel? <laughs> okay, enough. All right, it's Halloween, October 31st. You know what this means. November 1st is tomorrow, and No Shave November begins tomorrow morning for me. So this is gonna be the last shave of at least this portion of my face for as long as I can stand it. I get a lot of comments that say, grow a beard, grow a beard. And I try to tell you, I, if when I, I can, but when I do, it drives my face crazy, it gets red and itchy and it drives me nuts. So I'm gonna try to moisturize, you know, to do something to, to, to try to grow a beard for as long as I can. Now I can't promise anything, but also during that time, I will shave this part of my neck because, you know, when you do that, it's, oh, it feels terrible, but I will, keep this portion unshaved. So today is the last shave of October. <laughs> Ugh, I'm about Halloweened out. I don't know about you guys. What with that walk through the cemetery yesterday and uh, old Mr. Voorhees back here. So today I'm gonna use my tried and true um, shaving utensils. Uh, I'm gonna use the margaritas in the Arctic from Sterling Soap. Aftershave will of course have to be the Osage rub. I will not be using Barbasol in this episode. And I'm gonna use my Rockwell razor with a feather blade in it. I just changed out the blade yesterday. And I'm gonna use the synthetic bristle brush that I always do. And my Emesis Basin is filled with hot water because I learned my lesson after that very first, very popular video where everyone complains that I left the water running. Mea culpa. I don't do that anymore. Mostly not to hear comments about it. <laughs> Anyway, okay, I just took a shower, I did my hair. Uh, let's shave the last one. Let's make it a good one. Let's make it like a, we're gonna do seven passes today. I'm only kidding. We'll do, oh, and I didn't shave yesterday because um, I went as Indiana Jones last night to my weekly uh, music gig. In fact, I'll insert a photo of me playing guitar at the gig right here. And so I didn't shave onto that rugged uh, Harrison Ford look. I'm actually going, uh, gonna trick or treat with my kids and uh, their friends tonight as Indiana Jones, but clean shaven. So uh, let's do it, let's shave. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna shake out most of the water in there. And we're gonna do this. Do you guys go trick or treating with your kids? Do you remember trick-or-treating when you were a kid? Now, what other countries, because there's a lot of international viewers uh, that watch this channel, what other countries do trick-or-treating? Is that a common thing worldwide, or, uh, or is that more of an American phenomenon? I really don't know. I hadn't thought about it before now. But now, I'm thinking about it. Okay, there's the uh, amount of soap on the bristle. I'm going to put some more water up in the brush and face lather like usual. I need some more water. Don't want to be a... Uh, don't want to put too much water, but you also don't want it to be too dry. It's a warm and muggy Halloween today, but we've got a cool front coming through. A scary cool front. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll be ready for, uh, for November to start. Thanksgiving in America, I believe is, uh, what is it, Thursday? Is it November 22nd? I don't know. I'll look at the, uh, you, you look it up, okay, will you? Look it up for me. And I will be traveling to Kansas City for uh, our, our giant, my wife's side of the family, get together up there. And that's always fun. I like Kansas City a lot. It reminds me of uh, San Antonio, a city I love and where my mom's from. It's uh, Kansas City kind of had its heyday in the 1930s. And it still feels very much, in certain places, like it's got that 1930s vibe, you know, the architecture mostly. Like they kept a lot of the buildings. They haven't, you know, knocked them down and built giant skyscrapers in the intervening decades. So I really like that. I think San Antonio's got a lot of that feel too. You can still see the history. God, I'm sweating like a dog, man. Woo! Air conditioner. Cool front, come through. Anyway, yeah, so uh, flying to New York. Day after tomorrow, Kansas City, 
in November. And that's all we got planned right now. So if you're in New York City and you haven't seen me, say hi. If you're in Kansas City, come say hi. It's gonna be a whirlwind tour for old Sinatra Lennon. The Bob Ross of shaving. And I just realized now that uh, as I was getting ready to do this video, I still have not shaved with whipped cream. That's terrible. Don't promise something and don't follow through. Always follow through if you can. My, uh, the fault I dislike most about myself is procrastination, putting things off till the last minute. I've gotten better as I've gotten older. What's the one thing that you uh, wish you could change about yourself? It could be anything. That's one of mine, certainly. I also wish I could quit eating so many nachos. I've been terrible <laughs> since August. Oh man, and it shows some of those clothes that were fitting fine in August, they're a little snug now. I wish I was one of those people that just ate to live, you know? But, I've got that weird thing where I love food, okay? All right, there's the first pass. Ah, oh, I feel so much better. With all that uh, Indiana Jones stubble on there. I know you couldn't see it, and a lot of people are like, what are you shaving? <laughs> if I came up and gave you a hug, you would feel the stubble on the side of my cheek as our cheeks pressed together in a manly hug. <laughs> Tim and Eric, business hugs. Look that up on YouTube next. It's funny stuff. I love Tim and Eric. All right, oh man, this feels good. That margarita's in the Arctic. With that, uh, what is it? Uh, gosh, what's it called? Jeez, I'm drawing a blank. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to read the menthol. Menthol! Ugh. Yeah, that menthol in there, oh, feels good. Feels so nice. I still haven't gotten any of that snake bite stuff. It's a little pricey for me. And people say you can buy menthol crystals. How did, how did, I thought he, I don't know what's going on here. Halloween, folks. Anything can happen on All Hallows' Eve. All right. I keep saying enough. I don't know, I can't, I can't help myself. I'm, I apologize. Just more of the BS you tune in for, right? Just more of the BS. <laughs> and, uh. I was having a conversation on the comments about w with a subscriber, maybe not a subscriber, but someone to comment and say, you should do a podcast. And I've always wanted to do a podcast, but I don't know if I could make it interesting enough just talking. There'd have to be something, you know, I was talking about, and I certainly don't want to talk, talk about politics. I could talk about history, maybe. That interests me, or the Beatles, or which I guess is technically history but it's still relevant in modern times. And I don't know if the, the, the other commenter heard it or not, but I think I heard take five in the background, old Dave Brubeck. You can always count on hearing take five faintly in the background of my videos. I just, I just tell Alexa to shuffle Dave Brubeck and whatever she gives me is what we hear. All right, there's the second pass. And finally, or maybe not, finally. I'm gonna lather up again. This is, see how much, I got a lot more lather in this brush. This will be the touch up pass. As I said, I will be shaving down here because I don't want to be a neck beard. <laughs> not really, it's not that, it's just that it, just, my skin is that way, it drives me crazy. I had facial hair for, the better part of 14 years from the uh, mid 90s till the early 2000s had a, just a normal like a shortcut beard because you know those giant beards were not in fashion until uh, you know recently. Probably the last time they were in fashion was the Civil War era, I think. Those giant bushy things. So yeah, I had a beard 
you know, a full beard, mustache and everything. Not an Amish type, Abraham Lincoln, you know, only the chin strap. And then I had a goatee for a while, which was, you know, all the rage in the 90s. And still is amongst uh, a certain set of uh, dads in the world. Dads that uh, are not as blessed as I am to, uh, to have a full head of hair. They tend to like shave their head and then grow a goatee. Kind of makes them look tougher though, you know? I admire that. If I, uh, I got other problems, you know, in my life with my body or whatever, but luckily uh, losing my hair is not one of them. But if I did, I would totally shave it short, you know, at least very short. Do that Jean-Luc Picard look, you know. I wouldn't shave it like bald, like smooth, because that would be a lot of work to keep up. And I know there's some guys that watch this channel that shave uh, their heads with safety razors, which is interesting. And I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube videos about it. Oh boy, I feel sorry for my chin, because it's just gonna, I can already tell. It's like, please don't, don't not shave. <laughs> or, yeah, wait, don't not shave. You figure it out. I keep telling you to figure things out. It's because I, uh, I don't know. I feel like the professor is like, okay. Oh, that's funny. Here's the <laughs> so I walk through the, uh, the campus of the college here, uh, just on my way to work. I have several different ways I walk to work and one of them is through this large university. And of course I'm the oldest guy <laughs> walking through there. And uh, the other day there was a guy there that was like, uh, it was, uh, I don't know what he, who he was, but he was like an older guy too. And he was like giving high fives to people and telling them to have a good day. And as I went by and he gave me my high five, he said, hey, professor. I was like, yes. He thinks I'm a college professor. That's as close as I'm going to get to being a college professor, y'all. Somebody calling me one accidentally on campus. And that's fine with me. Maybe, the, is that what the, the students think? They don't, they don't think, that, what's this weird, creepy guy doing walking through? They probably don't see me at all. They're staring at their phones the whole time. Oh my gosh. All right. It's a teeny bit there. Can you tell I'm trying to prolong this shave and luxuriate in it without getting nicks or razor burn? Just go lightly, go lightly, especially if you use a real sharp blade with an aggressive type razor. Just go lightly and get that angle right, man. Get that blade to stubble angle. Because you're dragging some sharp steel across your skin. And it's going to cause you problems. If your technique is a little uh, slipshod, if you will. I think I'm going to call it good. I'm going to wash off my face with some cold water. Oh, uh, because I'm still sweating. I don't know why. Ouch. I think I got a nick right there. That cold water made that burn. All right. I'll show you, chin. What little chin I have. Dry off my forehead as well. Oh, okay. Osage rub for that all over tingly feeling, it says. Osage rub. The magic green bottle. The green genie. It's like absinthe for your face. All right, here we go. Ooh, ah, 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 <laughs> self-flagellation, oh. and then it goes away, the burn, the alcohol evaporates, and all you're left with is a tingling sensation all over your face and in between your fingers. If you haven't tried Osage Rub, try it. That's it. The final shave of October. No Shave November starts tomorrow. And I, like I said, I'm going to, I don't know how far I'm going to get. Um, but uh, we'll see. I'll be right there. Uh, I'll, I'll post videos. This is, this is a, kind of remarkable having three videos. I'm not going to do a, a daily vlog. I don't have that much in me. But for some reason, I had these three in a row. And, uh, oh, feels good. Feels so tingly. I've got a couple of little nicks right there. But that'll go away in time. I'm not gonna use my styptic pencil. This is what it looks like when it's been used quite a bit. You see that? It looks like some sort of a drug 
suppository. It's not, it's a stipping pencil. Okay. All right, I did that, I did that, and that's it. So starting tomorrow, I'm not gonna shave up here for a while, and, we'll, and I'll, uh, I'll try to like get up close to the camera or as close as you know you would want me to. You don't, you don't want me that close, right? Unless we're having a manly business hug, and then you can. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, let's find out what happens coming up soon. And uh, I'll see you in New York and Kansas City this coming month. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy Halloween! Forget it.